Live! You're watching Today I Grew Up. To infinity and beyond! The first Toy Story action figure in my collection I like to look at is RC. Very epic to have in action figure form. This scales with all the 7 inch action figures. I actually got really lucky and found this used at a thrift store and I think I only got it for like 10 bucks or less. It does have a clip there, it's pretty awesome. It is kind of uh, bendable here, the antenna. Pretty standard. I like that the wheels spin, so that's fun. And it has like the little bumps on the wheels. It does feel kind of like rubber, but it's plastic, hard plastic. But it is a little squishy. And it rolls really nicely and makes a sound when you push it. And I like the vibration of the fin because of the wheels make it like that. It's really fun. I love this RC. What makes it more fun is you have like a Mattel Woody here and you can clip Woody here on the waist. So that's pretty awesome and that's what it's for. That clip there so he doesn't fall off when you're pushing him around. And that's really, really cool. Next up we have the Mattel 7 inch Woody. These are pretty standard right now. You can find them at Target all over really. And it's got great articulation. What's cool about this over the Disney Parks Woody is that he actually has the bending here at the knee, which is really nice. He has better articulation overall. Here's my Disney Parks Woody, as you can see, that he doesn't have elbow joint articulation like the Mattel one here on the left. But I do like that it says Andy on the bottom of the boot here for Disney Parks. It doesn't say that with Mattel, but I assume you can just write your own. But it's very cool to see. And the hat is not removable on the Disney Parks Woody but it's removable on the Mattel. So it all goes back to personal preference at the end of the day, which Woody do you want? I like both of them. I think they're both cool. They're just, I like the accuracy here on Mattel for the vest. The print looks more accurate to me, but we're missing the yellow on the spurs. Disney Parks has that. So there's pros and cons to both, I think. At the end of the day, they're both great. I think this is great for the RC car because he's more bendable. He has no knee articulation, so that's kind of hard for him on the RC car. But they're both cool, and I love these Woody action figures to go with my RC. Next action figure in my collection is this Buzz Lightyear, also a Disney Parks exclusive. I don't own the Mattel one, surprisingly enough. I will pick it up in the future. Just haven't had the need to because I like the Disney Parks one. It looks exactly like the Mattel one. The only thing that Mattel has over this Buzz is that he has leg and knee articulation. He's more like a statue here. I can't bend the legs or the knees here. I love that it says Annie on the bottom of his shoe there, but... You know, there's limited articulation, but he looks great, and I like him a lot. Goes well with Woody, and I may have to get the Mattel one in the future because he can bend and sit better on the RC car. Here's a new action figure I just bought at Target recently. I never had a Jesse, and I thought, why not get Jesse to add to the rest of the action figure collection? I really like it. It has kind of a bendable ponytail here with the bow. I do like the hard plastic. And you know, it's a hard action figure, so I'm not really expecting like real hair or anything like that, or movie accurate details for an action figure, but I do like that it comes with a removable hat, which is really fun by Mattel. I like that design. So I'm very grateful that they did that. And the chaps are really nice. She does have nice knee joint articulation there, bend, which is really nice. And the leg does go up and side sideways really well too. And I love the elbow joint there that she can bend and say hello. It's very nice. It's a very nice articulated action figure and she's pretty versatile and fun to play with and posing. The only thing I need now is Bullseye to go with her. I don't have a Bullseye action figure yet, but now that I have Jesse, I will be picking that up in the future. I don't have Bullseye to finish the roundup gang, but I do have Stinky Pete and his box. This is a custom box that is originally from Mattel, but I added the plastic window. I also added this, glued it to the back of uh, a Google image I found of what Stinky Pete's box should be. So that's cool. Add this shut by a little piece of tape so I can open it and so that it opens just like the movie. I had to cut it and I did it in a custom video. I showed you how I did that. And here is a little pocket with electrical tape where I can put Stinky Pete's pickaxe. If I wanted to put it away like the movie, I can just slide it in right there and there we go and then put Stinky Pete in his box, close it up. There you go, there's the Prospector, mint in the box. Never been opened. It's cool, I like it a lot. The box is probably one of my favorite things that Mattel made accidentally because although they don't make it like I customized it, all the materials are there 
and it's close enough so that you can mod your own. Such a great, awesome action figure. They just released him in black and white as well, so I will pick that up soon. But I like to have the color version of him, because that's what we see in the movie. Love the details here on the back with the fake patch and the pull string. Very cool, great action figure. He is a little hard to stand because he's pretty like, you know, he's kind of big torsoed, but tiny little feet. But if you do take your time to get him to stand, he does stay. So I love this action figure and it's super cool to have with Jesse and now I just need Bullseye. Next awesome Toy Story action figure in my collection is Slinky Dog. I just bought him in the Andy's Room pack that came with the Mr. Shark figure. And I just love playing with this thing. It's so cool for posing and I love that you can pull him apart. It's pretty loud when you do that, but it's pretty fun. You can get on some pretty neat poses and I love his face sculpt and his mouth is slightly open. His ears, they're not real leather, but they feel like they could be. You know, they're very bendable plastic, so that's really nice. And the articulation is just really great overall on this figure because of that midsection. It's a really great action figure, and I'm so glad I picked him up to go with the rest of my Toy Story toys. Next action figure I just got recently as well from the Andy's Room Pack is Ham. What a great piggy bank. You can keep your money safe. He has a cork. And even though it's not real cork material, it's plastic, it's nice that it is a removable cap so that you can get your change that you put in there. And the slot is big enough to, where you can actually put real dollar bills or actual coins in there. So it's cool that it functions as a real piggy bank. It's a really fun action figure for the collection. Next, the alien. I love the aliens from Toy Story. They're one of my favorite characters out of all the movies. I do want to pick up a three pack of this to add more aliens to the collection because the Andy's room pack only came with one alien, but I am grateful that I have this one. It's really nice. I love the vibrant colors on it. It looks better in person than on the camera, but I need to army build these because it's just so fun. The more aliens, the better. So many of these toys I just acquired because of the Andy's room pack. There were seven action figures in there and Rex was another one that I just got, which was awesome because I was able to add a lot of action figures to my collection that I previously did not have. So I'm very grateful for this one. It looks kind of like a Thinkway Toys Rex shrunken down in a way and I love that because it doesn't have any buttons, it does not talk or anything. And I do like that it has a removable jaw articulation. I think that looks pretty awesome. Pretty cool. I wish I would have extended the paint up here a little bit. You know, in the movie, he did have more like a white paint here going down, but that's just a minor complaint. He does have tail articulation, leg articulation, arm articulation, jaw. So, I mean, it's serving the purpose of an action figure. He's got great, great features and it's a fun Rex and he even has head articulation, which I think is super cool. Really solid action figure. Here he is, Mr. Shark, finally in action figure form. It only took him almost 30 years to give us a Mr. Shark. No idea why Mattel did not give us this sooner. Doesn't this look like a toy we should have gotten in the 90s? I think we should have, considering Toy Story 1 came out in 1995, and we never got an actual Mr. Shark action figure until now. It's very shocking to me. I know we got minifigures and things like that. To have an action figure of Mr. Shark, movie accurate, in my hands with the shape, I love that. It just needs to be bigger scale, but... The shape is spot on, the coloring spot on. I love this. This is probably one of my most favorite Toy Story action figures in my collection is this Mr. Shark. It's just unfortunate you have to pay 70 bucks in, in Andy's room pack to get it, but I love having it in the collection now. Now this Rocky, I actually already had for a while. It's the same one that does come in the Andy's room pack with the exception of I bought this before that cassette came out because I custom painted the boots. He didn't come with the red painted details around the boot like that and on the front. I think that looks great like the movie. I painted that detail myself and he looks really great. I did also custom make this weight for him to hold in his hand. It's pretty awesome. I think this looks really cool and I love having a Rocky action figure in my collection. And even though I have a movie accurate scale Rocky, I still love the seven inch one. It's really fun. The next action figure I found in actually when I was going through my bins of storage, I realized I have this really old prickle pants made by Mattel back when Toy Story 3 was promoted in 2010. This did come out for Toy Story 3 and it has articulation. And I know they updated the sculpt for a more recent release in 2021, but I never actually saw it hit shelves. And I know Mexico got it and maybe another country, but I never saw a drop in the US. So it's okay though, for now I do have this action figure prickle pants 
So I'm not really missing out because I have this one in my collection, but it'd be nice to upgrade it with the brand new sculpt that they released recently. I just have not been able to find it, but it's cool that I found my old one. One of the most rare action figures besides Rocky was really hard to get a hold of before was this chunk. I remember looking everywhere for this thing when it was out and it never dropped in the US as far as I can tell. I know some people said they had luck finding it, but I never saw this hit the store. Target never put it up for sale. It's kind of weird. It was like the action figure that got dropped somehow. But I got this from a friend in the UK who was able to buy it there in one of their stores. So I had to pay extra money to get this in my hands. But it's cool. There's no actual button on this one like the bigger toy. It's just a manual. You press it down and that's how you get the face change which is pretty cool and I love it. It's just unfortunate that it's just such a rare toy and it's crazy to me that they never released this like they were supposed to in most recent years, but I have it in my hands and I love having it in my collection. One of the most rare action figures I have. Another really rare action figure from Mattel that was released recently, but we never really saw it hit the US was this Combat Carl. It's about seven inches. He's the biggest action figure we ever got from Mattel, which I was super excited. As soon as they announced this, I was going like a crazy person online trying to hunt one of these down because I was like, where are these things? They're just so limited in quantity. I even saw them shoot up on eBay for a hundred dollars and I was like, I don't want to spend that. And it even came with a removable hand, which is awesome. Just like the movie. It's just so great. So I ended up finding it from a local toy shop that was not a main chain and somewhere back east and I <laughs> messaged them and they're like, yeah, you can buy it. We only have one. And so I had to spend double for shipping. They're like, are you sure? And I'm like, yeah, I'm just a huge fan. and I really want this action figure. So I spent like 30 bucks on it, I think, which is still pretty good considering retail price is supposed to be like 15 bucks, but I'm happy with it. It's super fun, super articulated. I just wish we got a movie accurate scale one, but for now, this is going to have to do for my main combat Carl in my Toy Story collection. Not only is it an action figure, it's the best one we have for your Toy Story collection in my opinion. And of course I had to get Combat Carl Jr. which is from an older Mattel set that came out a while ago. I ended up buying it on eBay because I couldn't afford that original pack brand new in the box because I did miss out on that. But I had to get Combat Carl Jr. the mini version as seen in the Toy Story short. Now what's cool is that his hand is removable just like the giant Combat Carl. I'm very happy to have this Combat Carl Jr. I love that his hand is removable as well. It's just a fun toy. It always reminds me of the short. So in Toy Story Terror, we also got this Pez Cat, which is cool. I think I found this on eBay as well. I thought it was pretty fun. It's an actual Pez dispenser, just like the movie. Obviously, I don't keep candy in it because I don't want to attract any ants or anything, but it does say Pez on the side. Love this. My favorite scene is in Toy Story of Terror when this cat sees Combat Carl's hand fall off and then there's like a bleh, puking action. So that's pretty neat that this toy is pretty true to what we see on the screen for that short. Really happy to have this and I consider it an action figure even though it is just a candy Pez dispenser. Next action figure in my collection is this stretch. I love the wires in it. Super cool. I'm just shocked that we got one from Mattel in recent years. Finally, something better than the old one they gave us. Not that the old one was bad, it was just too small. And I love that this one's just so massive. Also has bendy wires on certain of the legs so that you can pose stretch to stand up taller with your action figures, which is pretty neat. I can't wait for the day until I have a movie accurate size stretch in my hands. I am working on that right now with a company on Instagram. So I hope that pulls through so that I can review that for you partners. But until then, this Mattel action figure of Stretch will have to do another rare one that I, I found this in Target, but I felt like there are only a couple and then they were gone forever. Very mysterious when that line was dropped because it was really hard to find. And this was another one like Combat Carl and like Rocky and like Chunk that were just impossible to find when those toys came out. Next action figure is Gabby Gabby. I remember buying this when I was traveling and someplace I found it accidentally. But this supposedly came out to promote Toy Story 4 in 2019. Of course, the dress is kind of rubbery plastic, which is really interesting. It does have like a pull string ring here on the back, but really cool. They did a great job with the sculpting. Something that I feel like is very rare because you don't really see 
after Toy Story 4 movie promotion was over, you don't really see Gabby Gabby in stores anymore. That was just to promote Toy Story 4 and gone forever. So if you do have this action figure in your collection, you might want to hang on to it. It may be more rare and collectible in the future as these toys get older and they don't make them anymore. But I am happy to have Gabby Gabby, although she's not my favorite character. She's still a villain and part of the Toy Story franchise, so it's cool to have it as part of the collection. Last but not least, we have Creepy Benson from Mattel. Same story, came around the time of Toy Story 4 movie promotion in 2019, also with Gabby Gabby. This came in a two-pack with a scared Woody, I remember, running through the antique store, which I thought was pretty cool. I ended up buying two of them. Can't find the other one right now, but I know I have another one running around somewhere. But for now, I do have this one out on my display shelves. Pretty cool, it does have side to side. I love that it's like a ventriloquist puppet because it has that button that you press in his head and it activates his mouth. So you can say, subscribe to Today I Grew Up or I'm coming to your house. <laughs> love the bow tie. Love kind of like this suit. It's kind of like a rubbery plastic. Great articulation here on the hands, on the arms. The only flaw this toy has is that the legs are a little too loose and very skinny. And Benson's pretty heavy, he's pretty top heavy. So you have to get him to balance right on these little skinny legs because he tends to kind of want to fall pretty easy. It's probably better on yourself sitting to be honest so he doesn't scare you and fall in the middle of the night. It's an amazing action figure and I'm happy to have it. It's part of my Toy Story action figure collection. There you have it, a look at my Toy Story action figure collection. What I have to date, what I've collected over the years. It's nice to see this collection slowly growing and I know that there's other toys that I don't have here, such as a Toy Story 4 Bo Peep. They do have a Zerg action figure. Also a Trixie one that I've seen floating around. They do have a ham with a evil Dr. Porkchop, like Mr. Potato Head hat. And they do have a glow in the dark buzz and just other little action figures that I could add to this collection. But I think my next uh, concern would be to add Bullseye. I think adding a Bullseye would be great to finish the round of gang. And Zerg is a priority for me. Maybe a Toy Story 4 Bo Peep, and then I might be done for a while. But I'm not too sure yet. I know there's other action figures that I do have, but they're just not in scale with these. So I kind of wanted to show off the action figures that I have that are standard size, not minis or anything like that. So I hope you enjoyed taking a look at what I have amassed in my collection so far. As always, partners, thank you so much for watching, liking, and commenting on these videos. It really helps support what I do here on YouTube. If you'd like to continue to support me on this journey, all you have to do is hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell so you later for future videos on this channel, and I'll see you partners on the next video review. You want the real Buzz Lightyear? You're, a, uh, you're an action figure. You are a sad, 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 strange little man. You are a sad, 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 strange little man. You are a child plaything. Hey, Ham, look, I'm Picasso. Yeah, I don't get it.